On behalf of the Lincoln Park Downtown Development Authority, I, Brandon Fry, want to welcome all of you to our city. Thank you all for being here. What a momentous day for our downtown. A year ago, this entire area was a patchy grass field, and today we're all gathered here to celebrate the launch of our fitness court. This didn't just happen overnight. I want to start by thanking the National Fitness Campaign and Priority Health for bringing this initiative to our downtown and for recognizing the need to support healthy lifestyles here in Lincoln Park and across Michigan. In fact, we are happy to be the 20th fitness court sponsored by Priority Health. Thank you to your wonderful staff for being here, including Dwayne Judson, who will be speaking just shortly. I also want to thank Wayne County, who provided over $120,000 in ARPA funds for this project. The general idea behind the American Rescue Plan Act was to help communities recover from economic and health effects of the COVID pandemic. And what, what better way to hit both of those metrics than an outdoor fitness court? Thank you to Deputy CEO Asad Turfi for being here. Thank you to Commissioner Kara Clementi, representing us here in Lincoln Park District 4 for always being a presence in our community. Thank you to Hassan Sheikh, the Director of Wayne County Economic Development Corporation. And thank you to Lucius Anthony, who was my main contact behind the scenes, helping me with the logistics of putting this project together. We're very proud of this initiative. A few weeks ago, we were hoping to do this um, on the eve of National Fitness Day. But really, every day should be National Fitness Day, especially when the weather is this wonderful. I don't want to hog up all of the time. I want to give others to share in these same sentiments. First up, I want to bring to the podium the mayor of our great city, Michael Higgins. I want to thank everybody who is here, and I want to thank everybody who helped this happen. Um, I want everybody to know that several times I come by in the morning and I'm not working out, but I'm seeing other people do it, and it's really, really good to see. And it's really great for our downtown that we have one more reason to be here, to pull people down, and to get healthy at the same time. As a 30-year coach for the high school, I want to say, the kids are always saying, but well, coach, there's no place to work out in the summer. There's no place to work out, you know, that's free. And now we have that. And that, is, that is such a big look, jump for society and for our city. And I can't thank everybody enough. Thank you for that. I also want to thank our council members who made it here today, Lillian Ross, Jason Baer, and Maureen Tobin. I want to thank our DDA for sticking to this and pushing hard, and I want to thank all the DDA members who are here as well. Thank you, thank you. Lincoln Park is on the verge of rekindling ourselves and redoing our downtown, and this is going to be our cornerstone and our first giant step forward to returning Lincoln Park to its greatness. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor, for those remarks. Next up, I want to bring to the podium Wayne County Deputy CEO, Asad Turfi. Thank you, good afternoon. So thank you to the City of Lincoln Park, thank you to Priority Health. Uh, well, most importantly, I'd like to thank our Commissioner, Kara Clemente, who is, who is a strong advocate for Lincoln Park and her entire district. And I have to say this, so a lot of times when officials get elected, to positions, they, they, they have the skill set what it takes to get elected. With Kara Clemente, she doesn't just have that skill set, she's also highly effective in lobbying for her communities. And this is an example of her lobbying for her community to be able to get a project like this in her district. This project here isn't something that's going to just sit on a corner. It's an opportunity for the entire community and children in particular to come here and work out. And you know, we all grew up in an era where there really wasn't that much technology. So we were forced 
to play outside and do things out in the community and be physical and be able to kind of set the standard and the lifestyle to move forward. And, you know, I'm a big, uh, I believe in fitness. I believe it's uh, one of the most important things that you could do. It's not only good for your physical health, it's good for your mental health. So this is definitely a great project that County Executive Warren Evans is very happy to invest in. Uh, we thank our entire commission, we thank the City of Lincoln Park, we thank Priority Health, and we would like to see more of these fitness courts all across the county. Thank you. Thank you for those wonderful remarks, Deputy CEO. Again, round of applause again for our side turkey. Next up, we have our commissioner, Kara Clemente. Oh, I almost took Brandon out. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> Asad, thank you so much. Thank you for everyone that has come out today. I was watching this be installed. I came over and talked to the gentleman. I haven't worked out on it yet, but it is uh, right down the street from my house, so it would be easy to walk here. We want to make Lincoln Park more walkable and usable, and I think this is a great start that people will come here and maybe we can get interest in more projects. Wayne County has been really great to me. We've been working together and talking about things, and I think that it's super important that all levels of government work together to get things for our constituents, and that's what I try to do. Every day, I am answering phone calls and going to meetings and working for our community. So I'm so glad, and thank you, Priority Health. And I also see Corwell Health is here, and I want to thank you, too. Um, don't, not sure how you're involved in this, but uh, it's you. always great. Oh, same. Okay, all same company. Very good. It's always great to have community partners that are looking out for our health. So thank you so much, Brandon, and thank you, everyone that's come. Thank you, Commissioner. Last, but certainly, certainly not least, from Priority Health, we have the Manager of Individual Sales, Dwayne Judson. Somebody gave me a mic, I was actually giving a sermon. Do I need to get my Bible out, guys? Or, or? <laughs> okay. All right, great. So let me say this before I even get started. You have no idea how pleased I am to be here today. Lincoln Park is like my second home. I spent so much time in between Lincoln Park and Allen Park growing up, so you know, to have this event here and have this outdoor facility here in Lincoln Park is just absolutely awesome for me. So I'm excited to see this actually come to fruition. And um, when they ask me to come and speak, I tell them absolutely I will. So let's get started here. My name is Dwayne Judson. I'm the manager of the Individual Sales Department at Priority Health. I'm privileged to be with you today to celebrate alongside so many partners to launch this first Priority Health Fitness Court in 2024. This is the first one this year. I would like to take a, thank you. I'd like to take a moment to thank the same individuals <laughs> that we've already talked about. Um, the City of Lincoln Park leaders, uh, Michael Higgins, uh, the Commissioner, uh, Claire Clemente, who you just heard, Deputy Wayne County Executive Assad Turfi, excuse me, the Interim Executive Director of Downtown Development Authority and Economic Development Corporation, City of Lincoln Park, uh, Brandon Fry, and the Lincoln Park staff and the community supporting this project and being here today on this beautiful afternoon. I've been in Priority Health for about 10 years and it's fantastic to see the community partnerships like these come together to create and overcome barriers to help our neighbors stay healthy. We know through research, social determinants of health, that more than half of our health results are determined by factors outside of the doctor's office. Therefore, by 2025, Priority Health Fitness Courts will expand the reach to about a third of the communities in the state of Michigan. That's approximately 3.3 million people that will have access to free health and wellness infrastructures in their own community. There's about 30 courts statewide right now throughout the state of Michigan, including Belle Isle, uh, one right up the road at River Rouge, Traverse City, 
And we're planning on opening up courts very soon in Lansing, in Jackson College, and right down the street in Tremont in just a few coming months. Celebrating the Lincoln Park Fitness Courts today reminds us that we all have responsibilities to support the well-being of the people of our community together. We can go further by improving the health of all if we do that. When you're using this fitness court, we want you to download the scannable QR code, which will give you free access to a guided workout tour. I believe that starts tomorrow, if I'm correct. If you try to download it right now, you can't, but tomorrow it'll be up and ready for you to download. But number one, I want to thank the National Fitness Campaign for being our partner for so many years and helping us put these community exercise courts into wonderful communities such as Lincoln Park, such as my second home. And I truly appreciate you all for coming today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. And if it's anything we can do for you at Priority Health, just let us know. We'd be more than happy to do so. Thank you. Thank you again to Dwayne Judson and Priority. Mayor, you wanted to say one more thing? I did want to say one more thing real quick because we all stood up here and we all talked about how great it is, which it is, and how great it is to our downtown, which it will be. None of us said it is at Fort and Euclid across the street from the post office because this will be on television and this way everybody will be able to find us. So, Fort Street and Euclid, come on down, work out. Thank you. Thank you for that, Mayor, and of course, the exact address is 1556 Fort Street. Yeah, so come on by right across from the post office, AutoZone, and we have our restaurant here and our produce grocery store as well. So a lot of things in our city and more to come. Okay, so now, the moment we've all been waiting for, again, so looking a little bit forward, we're going to have a demonstration Thanks to our police department. I know we wanted fire to be here, but they're currently out, all out on um, on call. So the police will help us out. We we appreciate them very much. And also, there they are back there. Give a round of applause for them. Yeah. But before we get to that, that the moment we've all been waiting for the ribbon cutting. I have it here. Stephanie, if you want to help me with this.
Today with us we have from the police department, they're going to provide us a little bit of a demonstration. We'll do some standing push-ups, we'll do some lunges, some box jumps, and just give everybody an idea of how the fitness court works. Again, you can download the app, it's called Fitness Courts and all of the app stores. And then of course before you leave, please take some of the merchandise here that Priority has offered. We have shirts, white and green, and then a noisemaker. Yeah, just at this table right here, please. Take whatever you like. Great. Take these rings off here. <laughs> More stuff. Stand up against this, <laughs> this ledge here, this green ledge. Okay, this was that ledge. Put your foot at the back of that. Then do a standing push up. There you go. There you go. Very impressive. <laughs> Very impressive. Very impressive. And then here. This is an easier one. Very nice. And last but not least, we'll try these. These are, you just hang over and do a basic plank over those.
Just a lean over it. No, other way, other way. There you go. There you go. There you go. Excellent job. Thank you, gentlemen. Good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Of course. Thank you all for being here. That is the conclusion of our event. We were trying to have a little bit of a competition between police and fire, but again, fire, they were all out on calls, but... Again, we appreciate you all for being here. Thank you so much. And once again, we have items from priority at this table. Please stop by that table over there. Take whatever you like. All right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 